Hi, I'm Sarah Belfontaine and welcome to Coventry University's first CU Erasmus video and I'm going to be talking about packing and my expectations for this. Um, I'm a student at Coventry University studying single honours Spanish and I'm about to go into my third year, which some of you may know as your placement year or your year abroad. So instead of me going to a partner university and studying like I would if I was at university, I've opted for the idea of going to work for the British Council which is essentially a teaching position as an assistant in a school, whether it be primary or secondary or even in a college, and teaching English. Um, so that's the formalities done, and let's move on to the exciting bit of packing. Now, so I'm a little bit overwhelmed. It's a little bit like first starting university all over again for me. I'm not sure what I'm going to need and what I need to leave behind. It's a little bit crazy at the minute. So in my trusty suitcase that I'm definitely going to bring with me, the essentials, so things like underwear and pyjamas and socks and lots of little things like that. But then we start to move on to the weather. Galicia, I've been thoroughly warned, likes to rain a lot. Um, I've been placed in a town called Pontevedra, which is in the northeast of Spain, and this is the, the map of Galicia. So I'm definitely bringing that just in case I get lost. Um, and it, like I've said, it rains a lot, so I might not need sunglasses as much as I'd hoped. So those are two things that are going in there that I'm definitely going to need, but I'm not sure if the sunnies are going to be needed as much as I'd hoped. Um, so I'm going to think about maybe investing in a good raincoat and some decent shoes, so I'm definitely not going to get wet, and an umbrella as well. But apparently it also gets very cold in the winter. I don't think I've been clipped in the, re the best region to experience Spain. So like I said, we've got big woolly socks in there, jumpers and scarves as well, just, just to cover all basics like you would if you were living in this country. So now, as I've explained, I'm working for the British Council. I need to bring some sort of English materials with me. So things like books, um, games and money, I've been told by my mentor, are going to probably be the best things for me to bring along. English coins are going to be very exciting, I've been told. So pennies and five pound coin um, notes and things like that. Um, but I'm not 100% sure what level these children are going to be at, so I'm a little bit worried about what sort of thing to expect. Am I going to be doing full lessons? Am I only going to be doing a little bit? Am I going to be doing reading sessions and things like that? So like I've said, I'm a little bit unsure what I need. I'm not 100% sure what sort of things and uh, it's, I'm feeling quite overwhelmed. It's come round quite fast. So I'm actually full of what ifs. So I've got what if I need something to drink? What if I need something to watch? What if I need something to read? These are things that I've decided are coming with me. What if I need my Spanish dictionary? I am going to Spain after all. There's not much English up there. I've brought my screwdriver with me, and it might sound like quite an odd thing, but I brought it to university for my first and second years, and it surprisingly came in handy for a lot of things, so that's definitely going in there. I put a penguin bar in, because I do, I'm do. i not sure what sort of chocolate's out there, and I am one for loving chocolate. I put party dresses in, not sure if I'm going to need those. Lots of things in there that are just what ifs. However, it all does sound a little bit over the top, but me being me, would love to bring everything, including the kitchen sink, so I definitely know that everything is there. Um, but as I am getting on a plane, there are weight restrictions, and I've only got a grand total of 25 kilograms. So, we're going to have to start taking things out. So maybe the dictionary, you just have to use it online, maybe. The sunglasses, I'm going to take just in case, because like I said, it is Spain, even despite the rain, I might be lucky and get some sun. Food, I think I should be okay. I've had a look on things um, on websites and they've said that there's going to be plenty of food for me to choose. Books and magazines. Now, I think it's probably best if I do read the Spanish ones, so we'll take that out just in case. And everything else I think is going to stay, including the screwdriver, just because you never know and I don't really want to happen to be buying seconds. Um, before I made this video, on my Facebook newsfeed was a Coventry University uncovered what to bring and what to leave for university. Now I reread the article and I found it quite useful. I don't need to bring my whole life with me. I only need to bring the essentials because I think in most countries I'm going to be able to get what I can over here and I'm a little bit worried that mum and dad are going to have to be paying a lot of postage to bring it out to me. Um, and I think that sums up most things. If you do have any questions, please do comment below. 
um, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. This is all a bit new, so I'm unsure. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please do check out our other See You Erasmus Diary videos. There are lots and lots of other students in my year group who are doing the same to promote languages as a degree course. And um, we also have a website if you want to go check that out, that out where there are pictures of us and fun facts and some blogs and some other photos of Spain where other of my classmates and France, sorry, who are going as well. And um, I do hope that if you are interested in Coventry University, you go onto their website, which should be on a link below. And you can order prospectus to see what else you can study here. Thank you very much.